Today I'm going to show you the Document Examiner, which is a utility for reading documentation online that we've developed as part of the Symbolic Swiss Machine product. This is the Document Examiner window. It has a number of different parts. At the bottom we have a, a command pane for users to type in commands. Here we have a command menu where people can select commands. And this is the part we call the viewer, which is where documentation appears. Over here we have a pane for bookmarks. When the document examiner looks something up, it puts in a bookmark. And the remaining part of the screen is the candidates pane, which is where menus appear in response to queries and requests to see tables of contents for documents. Now let's try looking something up so we see how it works. We'll move the mouse here down into the command menu and center it over the help item. See, as we move the mouse across an item, uh, a box is drawn around it indicating which item is currently active and something will happen when you clicked it. So let's click here on the help key and we see first of all that a bookmark appears in the bookmark section for the document examiner and then over in the viewer the documentation for the document examiner you can see that here we have um, section names and lists and paragraphs and so on. It's just standard documentation as it would look in the manuals. Um, now to read this documentation we can use keys on the keyboard to scroll through it, move from place to place and, and read as we go. We can also use the mouse. So we move the mouse here into the right hand scroll bar on this window and click like this. We'll see the documentation in the viewer repositioning itself in response to those clicks in the scroll bar. Now let's move the mouse into the text and we'll start to see the differences between online documentation and paper documentation. Here as we move the mouse around we'll see that parts of the text light up. The text here says see the section documentation lookup commands. Now on paper you would do that by say looking in the index and tables of contents and finding where it was and then looking it up. On the screen we can take care of the problem somewhat differently by making these topic names active and therefore subject to mouse commands. We could look this up or I think in this case we want to find out more about it so we'll click middle on it and we'll get an overview of this particular topic. In the overview we have the name of the topic, a summary of it, a one sentence description of what it's about, and some context information indicating which section this topic appears in. Now let's see how the keywords um, are used in the document examiner for finding documentation. We'll move down to the menu here at the bottom and position over the find command and this will prompt us when we click for a, a word that we're interested in. So we, over here in the command pane, we can now type in uh, a word that we're interested in. Let's use the word help. <coughs> in response to this, document examiner now brings up a menu and puts it in the candidates list of all of the topics that it found in the documentation in which the word help actually appears in the name or appears in the keywords. You see some commands here where the word help is not in the name. So, to review at this point, we've now seen the basic operations that are available in the document examiner. You can find potentially interesting topics by giving a list of keywords and having it search through the database to find all of the topics containing those keywords. You can see context sensitive overviews for particular topics in which uh, it shows you that the book in which a topic appears. You can choose topics to read. When you're reading a topic, you can follow interesting cross-references from it and have bookmarks for all of those topics put in that you can go back and reselect things that you've seen before. We've also seen the way the histories work in allowing you to reactivate previous queries. So you don't lose anything by following your nose. You can 
um, browse through the documentation in any way you wish, and um, the document examiner gives you ways to get back to where you were before.